Big wheel, keep on turning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to official Severe Weather Doom Week. And this week lasts two weeks, so get ready, be prepared. This is also superhero season. So, if you're a superhero, put your best game face on. Because the supervillains will be coming in high and tight. Now, real weather doom is all up in our faces, and it's very real. So we're going to kick off this week with a little, I don't know, I guess it's kind of out there, doom. It's way north, and it's in the part of America nobody really goes to. So we're talking about Alaska volcano erupts 36 times in four months. And the island it has produced has tripled in size. If you're really bad with math or words, that means it has gotten three times bigger than it originally was. And if you're annoyed by my weird, breathy, uh, wrestling announcer voice, I apologize. I'll try to go to something else. Volcanic Bogoslav Island, shown here in a January 2017 photo by Dan Leary of Maritime Helicopters, has grown by more than 170 acres since 2015. Wow. That's a lot of magma. That's a lot of lava. And I wonder if that's why all those storms are getting curved up to Alaska are going there. Because maybe Mother Earth sweats. And that's what clouds are. And rain is. So she's sweating on the hot parts of the world. Oh, who would have guessed Alaska would get so hot? Pretty soon, it sounds like it could be the west version of Iceland. Was it talking about, oh, this United States volcano, which is not something you hear often, I don't think. But I don't know what you hear, man. Your ears are yours. And, ma'am, one of the United States' most active volcanoes has erupted 36 times in the past four months. If you're bad at math or words, that's about nine times a month. Many have blasted plumes of hot ash thousands of feet into the air, prompting red alerts from the Federal, federal Aviation Administration. Bogoslav Island, located in the Bering Sea north of Alaska's Aleutian Islands, has nearly tripled in size due to... Oh my god, these are my favorite parts of the sentences. 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 When they say due to... Now here's the reason this volcano is erupting and creating an island that has grown three times in size in just a few short years. It is due to... Pyroclastic... Fail. Wait. Fall and flow deposits. You see, pyroclastic flows are one of the most dangerous of volcano phenomena. Wow. It's what I like about weather, because they can use words like dangerous. They never use those words, really, in astronomy. Pyroclastic flows are one of the most dangerous of all volcanic, volcanic phenomena. Sorry, I do have difficulty at times with words. I think this is a uh, lo-fi video. So you'll just have to deal with my mistakes. And I'll try not to make them again. Excellent. Now let's high five. And carry on. According to the University of California at Santa Barbara's Volcano Information Center, there are hurricanes of hot gases and volcanic particles. No one is in particular danger from the ground flows of Bogoslav Island, though. All of its exposed land is protected as part of the Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's the island. It was little. And then there it is now. It's way bigger. Way, way bigger. Before it looked like an alien hand. Now it looks like an alien wing. Excellent. Let us carry on. With smiles on our faces. Because no matter what the future brings us, we should probably do our best with the hand we've been dealt. Sound good? Okay, great. And then remember, in those super magic moments, you are going to have superpowers that you really needed to work on up to that point. But that is a whole other video. I'll carry on now with the reading. Side by side, comparisons highlight the rapid growth of the Alaskan island located in the Bering Sea. I hope you remember it from the photograph earlier. Now apply that memory with whatever you see there. 
I hear a train a-coming. It's coming around the bend. And I ain't seen calm earth weather since I don't know when. There are no instruments there. The New York Times reports. Oh, like the New York Times has been there looking for instruments. Come on, man. What kind of, what kind of stupid fact is that? Can I get better facts than that? Oh, I forgot. It's 2017. Facts are a weird, elusive, crazy thing that, I don't know. I'll carry on. And researchers rely on equipment installed at other locations, as well as satellites to take observations. Satellite images from 2016 show the volcano erupting from a vent that is just offshore, under the water. Uh, I bet it's south of the, like, Oregon, Washington. Pacific volcanoes that are also interesting. I wonder if there's going to be an El Nino this year. Or I wonder if they'll have to come up for a new term, whatever's going to be this year in the ocean. A Volcano Nino. You can see in these images that a new volcano... Dang it, I'm going to have to do a restart. Ready? Back to the one. You can see in these images that a new volcanic cone is being built. Michelle Coombs, a USGS geologist who heads up the Alaska Volcano Observatory, told the Times in 2016, if it continues, it might build a cone that is above seawater. Uh, you know what would be cooler? If it continued and built a giant snow cone above seawater. What are the odds? Don't ever tell me the odds. That's precisely what's happening. Yeah, it's, it's like at times, real life is dangerous and doomy. Especially uh, when you look upon leadership and the way the entire civilization structure is now built and standing. Do you have every column and foundation and watch group? They're supposed to be looking out for society being capitalism and survivalism based. It's, it's, a, it's a weird thing, you know? It's a real weird thing. You can write novels and novels and novels about it, I guess. Side-by-side -side comparisons of the new and old satellite images show that the island has gained about 200 acres worth of land above the surface of the Bering Sea. Though the AVO says the pyroclastic Deposits are highly susceptible to wave erosion. Wave erosion. A volcanic post phenomena. Man, I'm just screwing everything up. But it's live, asterisk. So we go on. And thus, additional changes in the configuration of the island are likely. Okay, now my imagination is going totally wild. Building volcanoes all over the place. And post-volcanic eruption structures so I should just stare at the words until I can understand them and say them out loud one no that's not in January 2017 freshly erupted this shit is serious I thought I'd mention that if you thought I wasn't taking it seriously no this is definitely seriously but I guess a sense of humor or jokes is how I deal in the face of total danger you know so if that's not how you deal with it then you should I don't know, go to another channel that's giving you the same type of information, but in a much more way that you really enjoy. Because if there's one thing that's important is feeling comfortable when you get the really doomy bad information, you know? You should, they should have like a law. That if you're going to get some shitty information like, hey, your government's $20 trillion in debt, you should get that information in the most comfortable way possible. So that like, it doesn't even really affect what you were thinking about before you heard the news. You know what I'm saying? Like you're thinking about like, uh, what am I going to get at the store? Milk, eggs, cheese, and I'm like, dun dun dun, a giant volcano just erupted near America. And you're like, oh yeah, crap, I also forgot jelly beans. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot it wasn't Easter season anymore, so there are no jelly beans. That's not true, there are jelly beans, I just screwed all that up. I can't even fix it because this is live. Anyway, I was saying, uh, sarcastically, I don't know, some people... Don't like the way I present serious information. But then some people don't really like anything, so we should definitely not worry about that. We should just carry on, be cool, stay cool, and do our best. Wow, look at that. i seen that shape before. Hey, moon hits Earth. Where have I seen that shape before? Or I guess anybody else.
Talking about the eye in the middle of the thingy. See that? All right. If you know or can take a guess or have a funny joke or have an unfunny joke, I guess leave it in the comment section. Or if you're super rich, skyride it over wherever I'm at. And I say this honestly. At this moment, I don't know where I will be hour to hour. So then I guess if you're super rich, you can use GPS nanobots to track me down. Sounds good. But then skyride cool shit about what you thought those shapes were. And I'll be sure to check the sky every 15 minutes if I can. Okay, nearly all of the new material consists of unconsolidated pyroclastic fall and flow surge deposits that are highly susceptible to wave erosion and thus additional changes in the configuration of the island are likely. Thanks, Chris. Way Thomas. Way Thomas. Avo USGS. That's important because it changes the nature of the eruption. That's what she said. Alright, alright, and I apologize for that. That was like a circa 2015 joke, but it was still good and it worked, though it was offensive and demeaning. <sighs> Actually, I mean, I don't think it's demeaning. Okay, that's what generalist person said. That's important because it changes the nature of the eruption. Uh, okay. Eruptions below sea level are often shorter, and the resulting cloud of ejecta. I don't know, I'll admit, I like a, I like a bit of sexy with my doom. Is that too much to ask to get my doom comfortable and sexy and hilarious in spots? It's rich with sea ice particles. See what happens if you read the middle of a sentence. I did it twice. Eruptions below sea level are often shorter and the resulting cloud of ejecta is rich with sea particles. Okay, great. I never claim to be a hundred percent grammar. Punctuation brain. Sidebar. Backwards? Future explosion eruptions may become more ash rich with, 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 without the scrubbing effects of seawater. Oh. If you scrub too much, it hurts. And you scrub away more than you wanted to. Oh my god. The probability of ashfall on the neighboring communities such as Nico Leski, Unalaska, Akton, Akutan may increase depending on wind direction. More ash also makes flying to the area much riskier. The Times reports. Flying to the volcanic ash can damage or destroy a plane's engines. Yeah. And if you're in a plane flying, you do not want your engine to destroy. I think 99.9% .9 of all pilots agree on that. If there's one thing pilots can agree on, is that you do not want your engines destroyed anytime, but especially during flight. So at times, the volcanic ash, because it's kind of silicate I think, can really wreak havoc. That and way too many birds in the engine. I learned that from a lesson from Sully, I guess. I remember when the dude crashed the plane in the lake and they were like, how did he do that? Or wait, he did, I forget. <sighs> I'm getting off task. But I'm almost done. Here we go. Did you make it with me? Once again, I high five. Flying through volcanic ash can damage or destroy a plane's engines and larger explosions have the potential to affect aviation in a busy corridor for flights to and from Asia. However, the risks of such massive Pompeii like effects are love. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Is that real? Does anybody else see that? However, the risks of some massive Pompeii-like event are love. I don't know. This article just got awesome, I think. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, eventually, a lava dome may be extruded at the surface of the island. But there's no indication at this time that currently ac that current activity is building to a significantly larger eruption. Well, see, it started off doomy, and then it got kind of funny, and then it ended with love, and we win. End of Act 3. 
Now everybody's high fiving because this is this is good news. It may seem bad, but it's good. All right. So God bless everyone. Uh, thanks for listening and learning. And um, I'll talk to you soon. I gotta do a weather video because like the next three or four days are gonna be extremely severe weathery. And the next two weeks are gonna be extremely severe weathery. So even though I'm sick of doing weather videos, you're probably sick of hearing me do weather videos. I gotta do more weather videos, man. You know what I'm saying? So it goes. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. But I'll try and pop in way more of these uh, lo-fi one-hitters because they're fun and easy and kind of exciting. Because if I make a mistake, you get to hear it. And then you kind of know the difference of the videos that I hope, spend a whole lot of time on. Uh, sometimes I spend a whole lot of time making the awesomest videos on the YouTubes. And even the internets, bitches. I spelled that with a Z. It's a financial term, meaning we're all in this shit together. We need to avoid hyperinflation or it will be lawlessness and madness and murder and rape everywhere. Did I mention the $20 trillion debt? What happens when that thing collapses? How's the whole 7 billion... People, society gonna act if they got nothing to exchange their goods with, and they're all used to getting it how they want it, when they want it, as soon as possible, at their convenience. Like the whole freaking world was a convenience store Burger King. You know what I'm saying? There's some ugly shiznizzle that would go down if we were not smart enough, cool enough to solve that problem that we have seen for 40 years or more coming at us down the highway, or we're busy arguing over. What is the proper nomenclature of, I don't even know what nomenclature means. So I'm going to move on. Okay, peace out. I'll talk to you soon. Is that cool? I can end this in 1701? Sounds good.